Hey everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Roulette. I am Johnny Artie, and with me is the fabulous Mr. Fox. Hey guys, it's been a minute since we did one of these. It has definitely been a minute, and I apologize for that, but oh my god, I could not keep playing Souls Likes. I needed a break. <laughs> so, we're kicking off the new year with my favorite game of all time. Of all time. Primal for the PS2. Didn't you take this game to have it signed by somebody? Y yes. Somebody um, who was completely... <laughs> not necessarily relevant? No, but they're Let's Players, so I wanted them to sign my favorite game. I got it signed by Markiplier. Oh, yeah. And I got it signed by Jacksepticeye, and I was too shy to get anybody else to sign it, because I was, like, absolutely spent emotionally. Oh, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> After getting hugged by Mark. Yep, hugged by, by Mark. By Mr. Plier. Accidentally crying on him. I, uh, I will never live that down. That was really embarrassing. I was just like so overwhelmed and happy, and he had helped He's me so much. Probably used to it. Probably. I think I was the only one there in the entire five hour wait that cried, though. Probably not. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that people cried like all over that guy. Probably. But yeah, so I had them sign it, and um, I'm pretty sure that the um, the local pools yeah. had him just you know jump in in place of chlorine. <laughs> Just salt the place. <laughs> so I have played this a little bit once before for Fox years and years ago, back I, before we started dating. I don't remember that. I, I don't know. think I've ever seen this. <laughs> I know you don't remember it, but I do because I was super excited to play it. And then I mostly played it while you were asleep. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, that makes sense. Yeah. Then. Over at our the old place we used to film. So This is an old game from back when games sucked. <laughs> It's from 2003, That's and it is an said. amazing game. I just said it's from so when games were terrible. So we're going to go ahead and start, and you're going to have to be quiet, because this game has a lot of cutscenes. Oh, I don't have to do anything. Shut up. <laughs> we can. You can start a new game, and you can hope I'll be quiet. There are at least subtitles, so people can read those, because I'm nice. Oh, yeah, definitely. Oh, my gosh, you can see the boxes around the letters. Oh my god, you can see the JPEG <laughs> artifacting. Shut up, that's this is what, the best game. Well, this that's what happens when you take an old game from the terrible eras. And put it in HD. And put it like in HD. Like, port it to an HD platform. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, I can't remember the name of that font. I don't know, but it's on our computer. I know. I downloaded it. Yeah. It's the same font they use on the Demon Hunters. Oh my god, you're right. It's embarrassing. I am the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. All it's the Darkwing music, Duck. I'm sorry. All the music is by 16 Volt, and they're I know. My, my favorite band. No, the, I was just looking readers, at this. The listeners, the watchers. What? The fans don't the, know the that. Fans? The fans don't know that. We have that. those things? Yeah, yes. We I, have to turn the fans. This is why we never get any views. We have to turn the fans off oh so they don't mess up our sound, <laughs> which I hope everybody's happy with our new sound. We have some new what equipment. What a cute gargoyle. I hope that it turns into a woman and tells, like, marries me and tells me never to tell anybody about the time that she saved me from the the gargoyle. Tells me never to tell me about the time she saved me from muggers. No, I. And then I don't. I don't know what story you're telling. And then, like, years later, I finally tell her, uh, tell my wife, and she's like, "I told you never to tell." Oh, it's that Japanese story. It's about all the actually snow the maid. version I'm talking about is from Tales from the Dark Side. Oh, I've never and seen And the that the gargoyle in question appears on the cover of that movie. Oh, you never seen that movie? I think I think I have. But it may have been years. I know I've seen a Tales from the Crypt movie. No, no, this isn't Tales from the Crypt. This I know. is Tales from the Dark Side. Is that the one that had, oh, that comedian that I don't like? I don't know. Fuck. He, uh, he, they, they made fun of him on Family Guy. Oh, what yeah, the that hell narrows does it rant? down. <laughs> what the hell does Ramp mean? <laughs> oh, Dennis Miller. Yes, Dennis Miller. He was in one of those movies. Uh, I don't know. That guy used to be cool. Yeah. Oh, that's not a red flag or anything. <laughs> My name is Bob. Guys, I am a normal human here to enjoy the rock. 2003 in the goth scene, he fits right in. Fair enough. Fair enough. The sound is terrible, but we have it turned down, so I guess it doesn't overload. Maybe you'll be able to hear it in the playback. Uh, this is another 16-volt song. Yay. Is everything's a 16-volt song. I know! The whole soundtrack is 16 volt. I know. It's like playing Maximum Carnage <laughs> and saying, this is another Green Jello song. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, the guy from 16 Volt. Oh my god. This is Jen. She's my favorite and I love her. Was that our main character? This That's her first character. line? Yep. I'm, so, I'm starting to feel like this should be done by Merrick. No. Boxy boxes. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't. They'll sue us. Who's they? Little Karibo. Foxy boxes? No. <laughs> little, yeah, little, little Karibo is so litigious. Well, I respect him. I don't he's want to be super cool. Mad. I wouldn't be referencing if... I know, I know. I'm pretty sure that he's not going to... He's like the kind of person who respects a reference. Yeah. Considering how many times <laughs> his channel has been taken down. Fair enough. By uh, Four Kids <laughs> Entertainment. So what is actually going on here? Jen is backstage at a 16-volt concert. No. Jen's boyfriend, Lewis, is the head of a rock band. She was backstage. So they're just covering a 16-volt song. Well, No, 16-volt doesn't exist in this world. I think it's all supposed to be Lewis's music. Rawr. But they're an actual band. And this dude from the crowd was staring at him, and now he is attacking. He's got little deformy nubby... Nubbly deformed arms. Because I don't know if you can oh. tell, but he's wearing a face like a mask. And he's some kind of demon monster. Yeah. Look at him go. Run. run away, we accidentally... Meanwhile, in Diablo. Diablo nothing. This is Spawn. <laughs> I was about to say, 2003, this particular monster. Yeah. I am the Vacillator. I'm like the Violator's less cool little brother. Yoink! Oh my god, are you on a quest to save your boyfriend? You're on a quest to save your boyfriend. I'm on a never-ending quest to save my boyfriend. But the quest is not as it seems. Which, we'll get to that later. This is the loading screen. That's oh, the tattoo I want. <laughs> I've wanted that tattoo for I thought... over 10 years. I read this game in 2004. I'm going to be honest. I thought this was gameplay. <laughs> no. Oh, no. This is the gameplay. No, it's not. This is still a cutscene. Is this your dream? You wane and you wax in and out of consciousness. Came in two nights ago. She hasn't come around yet. She's a fighter, though. I've lost plenty with injuries less than hers. Yeah, that claw got her fucked up in the back. Lung punctured in two places. That's actually pretty nasty. Yeah. What'd you do? Get hit by a truck? Yeah, she yeah, was this... some nightclub with a boyfriend. Yeah, it looks like a gang jumped them. Left her lying outside the club. Okay. They found him several blocks away. He's in the room three doors down. So that makes me want to sing one of their songs, but I can't remember any of them. No, don't sing their songs. They're opening. They're terrible. Trump. I don't like. What? They're they're playing the inauguration. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, my good. favorite tweet about it was good for that. Or look at Trump creating jobs. This is the first uh, per, or paying gig they've had since 2007. I was gonna say good for them for finding work. Right. My mom used to love I them. legitimately can't remember any of their songs. Um, I'm probably I trying to... I can hear them to... in my head. Uh, Superman was one of them. No, that was... Yeah, Superman. If I go crazy... Yeah, that's that... No, down. that's not Three Doors Down. Yes, it is. No way. Kryptonite, yeah. Kryptonite? There's down. no way that's Three Doors Down. Yes! I'm, I'm Googling this. this uh, I'm positive that's not Three Doors Down. What the hell happened? Um, what did happen? Oh my god. I'm dead? No, 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 I don't want to be dead. <laughs> Things were just turning out. Lewis and I were just... Well, I guess, what do you say? This is the part where an anteater comes in. Oh my right? god, it is three doors down. I told you. Wow. <gasps> huh? What the hell are you? A bit short, I'm Mr. Tubness. No. Welcome this to is the magical my rock world boyfriend. of Yarnia. This is my rock boyfriend, and I love him. His name is Scree. My name is... Well, let's say you can call me Scree. I've been do I have to, to though? You, that's to not his real name. Important well, I mean, he said you can call me Scree, and I'm like, do I have to? Is yes. that a... Right. Am I required? Well, yes. Scree. It's a cute name Glad for I'm a cute critter. But first you better explain it's one letter off of Scree. On she is creeping me out. Your Two letters off. Form, the one still S Q U E E. 
is how you spell squee. Close to death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scree, squee, scree, squee. Okay, fine. <laughs> see what? See, you see what I'm saying here? Yes. I'm saying that this might that this That's early 2000s goth piece might have been influenced by ball. Johnny the Homicidal Maniac. Fact, now that it's free, you'll find you can travel to places you've never even imagined. Right. Who's that voice? Sorry. That seems familiar. Andreas Katsoulis. Okay. You might remember from, I can't remember yes. if it's Battlestar Galactica so or... I am but uh, I, I'm going to tell you right now, I, re- I will recognize nobody from Battlestar Galactica. I can't stand that shit. Oh, or maybe... Okay. Yeah, what is it from? But only if it's I'm like... Is it no, it's Babylon 5. Now, Babylon bad. 5, on the other hand... He was hand. Gakar. <gasps> oh! He passed away a couple of years after this game came out. Oh, that's a bummer. Yeah. Gakar was fun. Okay, Jennifer. I drive a Gavan. <laughs> God damn it. You're fired. <laughs> absolutely <laughs> fired. Okay. Oh God. Now, I could go absolutely anywhere I wanted to, so I'm going to go to this particular board from Halo. It's not from Halo. We're no longer in. To be fair, if it was, it would have better graphics. Still, huh? As I said earlier, your spirit. This particular board from Mortal Kombat Adventures. Physical mortal world, and now stand in the Nexus. It's the Nexus. This particular set from the Dungeons and Dragons movie. The portal from Mortalis, where humans live. Humans live in Mortalis. Yep. This is real, Jennifer. I know you mortals think you're at the heart of everything, but believe me, you're not. Scree! Oh my god, no! We're not doing that! Oh, did you think I wasn't gonna? Yeah! You've never heard me do this before for this particular character, have you? Oh boy, have it, because this is our first... Scree! I'm gonna push you off something that's high in the air and dangerous. I'm... I'll think of something. You think... Yo, you're gonna push me down the stairs? True self. Is that it? If Probably, I don't know. Your go-to threat. Yeah. What am I supposed to do? Because it's j- it's funny because I can't actually push you over. <laughs> I you know I hope I hope that's the case. <laughs> At all times, I d- I don't like to fall over. I've just jumped out of my skin, left my body in some hospital, then dragged through a rift gate. A rift gate? Rift gate. Oh, okay, I get it. And I'm in oblivion. Vanbury? Not a problem. Precisely. <laughs> I love him. He's small. Well, I mean, that shouldn't be a problem. When I was a goth in 2003, I wore Van braces. Could have been made for me. They were. So, uh, how do I get them all? Oh, you don't. Well, you don't make a deal with the shadows, that's for sure. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> and this guy wants me to trust him. Right? He's super sketchy. This lady you keep mentioning. You. Nope. I serve Arella. Arella. Oh, that is good and pure. She is strength. She is the embodiment and of order. Virtue, no, she's righteousness, she's righteousness, and nobility. She is nobility. No, she's order. She rules she's little cat faced people with horns. Oh, he does look like a kitty. Hey, got a little cat face. Stone kitty. A lot of gargoyles do. They're, they affect lions. I love his little wings. And his little perfect circle eyes. Yep. There's another I band I haven't thought of for a long time and would perfect like to circle. continue not. Well, I like a perfect Lord circle. What's one song for them that is the good? For my um, like right. all of the album uh, Merida you know is amazing. I'm sorry, the correct answer is they don't have any good songs. Yes, they do. Ooh, oh my god! <laughs> you but. <laughs> so you're zero for zero on. Well, no, you're one for zero on trivia because you were right. Three well, Doors Down does have that one song that's remotely tolerable, but why would anybody <laughs> listen to it? Is there nothing you can say that won't leave my head spinning? I don't know. Oh, I, think I probably should have that turned down. The TV? Yeah. No, I like hearing it. It's okay. I'm we sure won't you pick do. it up. Lewis? Well, you you hope we don't. Who's here? That's true. You, you don't know. <laughs> You're right. Oh, I thought I had to burp, but it was a yawn. Scream! <laughs> no! God damn it! Okay. What's up? This is Jen. This is her tattoo, and I want it. I'm going to get it someday. Which one is she? She's the human. By the look of her, I'm going to guess Gen X. 
Oh my god. <laughs> her name is Jen, and she's an awesome goth girl, and she, she punches and has a knife, Come and I love her. Considering way. she was simply given the means for success, she certainly isn't Jen Y. <laughs> it's, it's true. Also, I mean, she doesn't really get given much that's helpful. I mean, she gets, like, stuff, but it's painful <laughs> and sucky to get. Oh, snap. What have so we... the question becomes so they got one of these considering who's at her controller can she get good yes are you kidding me I have beaten this game so many times this is like my I said it before it's my favorite video game of all time and I have played the bejesus out of this game oh hey when you get up close to him you can see he has eyes behind his circles yep they look like old goat eyes awesome responsibility of Kronos keeps the balance. And awesome's the word for this. Kronos place. keeps the balance? Yeah. What the hell? It's Kronos. Oh, there's someone in the middle of all that. He channels the energies of order and chaos to the world. As I said, Jen, Kronos. So that's some Geiger Gee, shit right there. Yup. Perhaps he can hear you, too. Uh, yeah, rude. Yeah, right? Well, that's what I want Kronos to just be like, rude! I'm sure the guy's doing a great job in there. Nice save, Jen. On there. Scream! God, stop! <laughs> it is an ancient machine with Kronos living at its heart. There are four realms in Oblivion, Jen. Two aligned with order and two with chaos. I thought there was that one place where the Khajiit come from. That one place. Elsewhere? No. Well, one place where the lizard. That's part of Nerd, not Oblivion. Oblivion's where all the danger come from. Kronos has I don't know. <laughs> it's all the. Channeling same game. Strength, it is. It is all the same Not game. It's all the Elder Scrolls. Ah. Both with him and without the Nexus. Jeez. It wouldn't exist at all. No, that's not his they voice. should have gotten me to do his voice. No, his voice is. I would have made him sound like this. And you would have made this game terrible. Hey, nobody escapes from oblivion. Not no one. Not now. Uh, part of the one, the good thing about this game is the voice acting is top notch. Distinctive, good or distinctive. Distinctive, inappropriate. I gotta say, Gakar is. Jeez, doing good. good. Oh my God. Oh no, Kronos. Is he okay? He in pain. He's about to start playing a bunch of cellos. <laughs> the force of chaos. That's a very esoteric know, reference. I don't get that plan into practice. Uh, <clears throat> the Kronos Quartet. He's secretly corrupting the kingdoms of order, strengthening uh, the realms did, of chaos. Do they play music foolishly from rocking the Nexus? No. Okay. That's I don't know what it is. <laughs> Kronos Quartet is a string quartet. He may not last Violin, two cellos, and a bass. On, we okay. have no time to lose. They did the soundtrack to Requiem hey, okay, for a Dream. Oh. I'm sure you've heard them do several things. Like, they're most famous for that song, the title song, Requiem for a Dream, which is like, da-da, da-da, da-da. I've never heard that before in my life. I'm positive you have. It's just I'm not doing it correctly. I wish I could jump. You can't jump? Not unless you're at a place where jumping technology simply not invented in 2003? No, you weren't allowed to jump in any games until like 2005. Is this like unreal? Yeah. Is this Unreal? No, I'm kidding. Like an early iteration of the Unreal Engine? No. I don't remember what I did this youth. Does it use the Yawn Engine? I need good. more Mountain Dew. I'm sorry. I'm you need more Mountain Dew. Disagree. Yes, I do. Being running out of energy right now is a and Mountain Don't! Oh! oh! Please. Oh, Three here we go. Three symbols. Oh. One of them, which is like five spirit. moons. No, she said these symbols, not moon, three moon, symbols. Moon, 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 <laughs> moon. See all the moons? It's <laughs> Shut up. Look at it. There's a bunch of moons. And there's some kind of goddamn face. This is important. Lewis drew the design for her tattoo. He saw it in a dream. Her boyfriend. Oh. Boyfriend, you gotta say it. I've already forgotten him. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, my God. <laughs> Make sure you stay on your microphone. I am on my microphone. I don't know everything. It's not branded. It's just a tattoo, goddammit. Lewis told me it was a ancient <laughs> rune of protection. I just thought it looked cool. It looked Same, cool. Jen. Same. Where did Lewis see this symbol? It's very important. I love his tiny horns. His tiny horns? 
Oh, forget What's it. up with this guy in the Everything background? He's bugging me. He's just a face step on, carved into a thing. This He's fucking decoration. Roman nonsense. Camera was going wacky there. It always does. So what's this? What is going on with this symbol? Um, it is the symbol of the Nexus. Uh huh. Lewis saw it in a dream. Uh huh. And he drew it down for her. Scream! Ah! <laughs> oh! <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> Fired. Oh, shoot. I forgot to time this. You did. Oh, we're already at 21 minutes, I think. All right. So after this cutscene, we will stop it there and okay. record a new one. Where are we now? We've we're entered the kingdom of Solom. We have entered the the uh, caves of a high schooler's notebook. <laughs> no. These are tribal paintings of the fair eye people. It looks like a high schooler's impression of what tribal paintings look like. Nothing too harsh for its people. The fair eye are strong and resourceful. The fair eye are kick ass. You say hunters? <laughs> the worlds of Oblivion Ooh, they're my second favorite demon race. race. All right. The fair eye are fierce, sometimes brutal, but they are fundamentally. I see good. what world we have entered. Worse, it is a very prestigious land. I don't get your reference. Vape Nace, y'all! What? Shut up! Look, she's, oh she has entered this realm and acquired the power of the vape. Look at her go. It's cold. Her breath is steaming yes. the air. Did it do do for twenty? Wow! No, not in my vape nation. No. Starving my lady of Ethan's gonna sue existence. you. No, he's not. Truth, <laughs> Shut up! You don't know. No, somebody would have to watch our videos. <laughs> it's true. We only get like forty so views on my let's plays. If we're lucky. If we're lucky. I, I try. We must do I try. So if we were more listen. consistent, we might have more viewership. I know. Oops. Oops. Touched a nerve. You must forgive me for that, Jen. Why has anybody so got to say oops when they've got time, this much vape? So uh, Drop it. the juice. Don't sweat it. Wheeze it. Stop. So Wheeze the, the juice, You're Jen. You're using that reference wrong. I'm not. No. That's for drinking that slushies. I, it's for whatever I say it is. The words do what I tell them to. You didn't write in Sino Man. I no, I didn't. I have way better taste than that. Sino Man is amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. It's one right. of the best movies ever. <laughs> Especially if you're ranking them by Brendan Fraser's hotness. The one crucial um, it's in the top ten. I think if you're ranking them by Brendan Fraser's hotness, that's you know a pretty short and easy list. No, it's not. It goes George of the Jungle, the okay, Mummy. No. What? Yes. First of all, he's way hotter in Encino Man than he is in George in the Jungle. He's super chiseled. He wears dresses. He rides a horse with a billowing white shirt. Oh, that movie is entirely filmed and framed from the female gaze, and it's amazing. And I'm going to tell you, if we're talking about that movie, we're ranking it by Pauly Shore, not Brendan Fraser. He's not in... Like any other or... He's a, we're talking about Encino oh, Man. Yeah. It's also Wait, where the did you get the Shore mummy movie? from? Because we're talking about how hot Brendan Fraser is. Uh, if we're talking about that, I'm going to talk about the one movie where Brendan Fraser is truly hot, and that is when he stripped naked for James Whale in Gods and Monsters. I've never seen that. You. What? I've never even heard of that. If the one movie Brendan Fraser is actually an actor in, and you haven't seen it? What? He's a all right, we should actually cut that there because that cutscene is like okay. four minutes long. So we will come back to this discussion. All right, yeah. <laughs> Next and time, gameplay on roleplay roulette. We will continue or on let's play roulette. Yeah, I let's play roulette. Next this time on show. let's play roulette, we are going to continue um, schooling John on Brendan Fraser's acting. Ah, uh, that's uh, you. You're the schooled. Just Welcome to school. You. School is in session. All right. Uh, stay tuned for the next episode. Go ahead and leave us a like and a comment. Let us know what you liked about this, what you hated about this, how you feel about the cutscenes, etc. We'll get to you know more. Don't worry about all that. Video. Just leave. Just hit the like button. We want to try to make money. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> try. Yes, it's very very important keyword there. <laughs> click. Click, the, the, click it. We don't even have a. The, we want to try to make money. We don't even have an AdSense account. <laughs> We'll see you in the <laughs> nothing, next video. Nothing matters. It's all you for naught. Bye.